Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you a mini tour of my island. This is my first Animal Crossing game and I only started a few months ago so I don't have a lot of it done but I still wanted to show you guys what I have so far. First, let's start with my map. My island is named Starland. I have two characters on my island. They're both me because for some reason I like to hoard everything and don't want to sell any of my stuff. So I ran out of the 1600 storage space within two months of playing the game. So then I decided to make a second character to store the rest of my stuff. For my villagers, I have Lolly, Diana, Marina, Marshall, Maple, Pico, Rosie, Rudy, Cookie, and Sherb. As you can see in the thumbnail, I did have Sprinkle, but I was holding her for my best friend Jenica, who loves penguins. And after waiting for almost two months, Jenica finally had an open plot for Sprinkle. Here's a picture of the upgraded residential services ceremony. Sprinkle was one of my first five villagers, and I know that she'll go to a great home. And here we have the entrance. This was my first build. It took me a really long time, but I was super proud of it. We have a bridge right in the middle with a waterfall on the left and the right side with lots of pink and white flowers on it. And then after you walk past the bridge, we have some moon chairs. And I love it when my villagers come and hang out here. They look super adorable sitting on the chairs, enjoying life. And I try to get really cute pictures of them when they're here. Next, we're going to be going to our second build. This is the fountain area where my villagers can relax and hang out. I put some orange and white flowers here as well as the custom pathing on the floor and some wedding items. And now we'll be taking this left path over here and squeeze between this small space and we'll be at the hidden picnic area. I try to make this area kind of cherry blossom themed. We have some cherry blossom petals on the floor and the cherry blossom umbrella and also put in a cherry tree as well. Ignore the campsite area, that's just a temporary space right there until I build an actual campsite area for my visitors. Now let's move on to the next area. We'll follow the path here and there's a mush log with a cute mini cactus set and then a swinging bench right here with a nice view of the waterfall in the background. And then the path takes us to nooks and crannies tucked in here. And up the stairs will lead us to Abel's. I have a brick well on the left side right here. And then we have a wash tub. And I put some clothes on display. We will also have a sewing machine. And a book here for when the Abel sisters go on a break and they want to read a book. I put nooks and ables close to my entrance so when I have visitors over, they can have quick access to my shops without going too far. Now we're going to take the stairs back down into my pumpkin area. I got inspiration from this area by hiddenvalley.island on Instagram. I saw the post and I instantly fell in love with how it looks. It used to be more Halloween themed, but since Halloween passed, I removed the Halloween items and tried to make it more toned down. We have a shed right here with some log garden lounge on top to look like a roof. And over here we have a seating area with some carrot cake and then the pumpkin patches 
on the left and the right side with the fertilizer. And down here, we have a small resting area with a super cute soft serve lamp. I really love the cottage core theme, but my favorite colors are pink and white. So I kind of try to mix them up both on my island, like this area right here and earlier in my fountain area with the wedding bench and the wedding arch. Now let's take this path back towards Nook's Crannies. Right here is one of the many areas that I haven't started on yet. We will cross the bridge to the left and we have a seating area right here. My villagers can sit here and relax and enjoy the waterfall. And let's walk through this stone path to the right side and it'll lead us to Another seating area! I love putting random seat areas. I feel like it fills out the space really well. And then up this incline will be Rudy's house. He owns a little puppy right here. And then we also have the clothesline for his clothes to dry. And he also has a little tea sipping area where he can invite one of his friends over and they could have tea together. Or he can sit by the tree and read some books. And if we take this incline right here, it will lead us to a super girly and pink garden area for Rosie. This area was inspired by Olivia Love Animal Crossing on Instagram. I knew I had to have something similar on my island when I saw the picture on Instagram. It looks so cute with the star net, the white mush lamp, the leaf stool, and all the pink and white flowers. And if you look in the back, you can get a glimpse of my flower problem. That has only one third of all the flowers I have. I'll deal with it one day, but not today. Let's take the incline back and go right this time. We have a hula girl right here. I love this item because it reminds me of Lilo's older sister in Lilo and Stitch. And now we have a small garden area here with some flowers, fertilizers, a pot, and then a straw fence right there. Peeking in the back is another star clock because I want to have more stars on my island. It is called Starland after all. Now we will go behind the resident services area. I built some cliffs and waterfalls here. seeing the record players on accident. We have a wasp nest and a huge butterfly model here. I really like this spot because you can get a nice view of the area in the back. And that's it for all the finished areas on my island. I really hope you guys enjoyed this island tour. I will be posting speed builds on my channel for the unfinished parts on my island, so stay tuned. 
and please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!